In order to align your Wisecams with your Samsung SmartThings security system, we're going to need to do a couple of things first. And the first one is to create a virtual switch. And I'm going to be using the Samsung SmartThings Classic application because that is the first place you have to do this. Now you can see I'm going down to automation. And while you can see my virtual device creator, there is the ability to add a smart app. And that's what you're going to go to. And then you have to go to more and scroll all the way to the bottom and you will find the virtual device creator so this is if you haven't created your first one now you just have to really name this and you can just select the virtual switch for this basic operation that we're going to handle today and you can put any name in it now I'm going to show you later what I'm going to name this switch for myself but this is just so you can see this basic piece of work and you do have to do this in the classic app to get the virtual device creator to show up up thereafter now what I'm showing you is actually just the ability to turn that on and off it doesn't do anything yet but that's what we're moving into now the other thing you have to do is you have to actually invite the other people and make sure both of your smartphones are aligned with Samsung smart thing so I've gone into the menu and I've gone into the settings so that's the gear icon up at the top and then I've gone into use phone location now you you probably don't have this turned on yet or if you don't then you need to turn that on and the other thing you need to do is turn that on for your spouse or your significant other or whomever else's phone you want attached to this now to do that again go into the menu go into members and then you are going to invite that individual so send them an invitation and then sign up for an account with that invitation into the new application and you will then have their phone in here and that's important for our next component of the effort which is again I'm going to use this new smart things application inside of smart apps this is the virtual device creator and what it looks like inside of this application so just so you can see it does show up here after you create that first one and this is what I'm calling my new virtual switch it's called everyone has left and that makes it pretty easy for me to identify that going forward now you can see it's all the way at the bottom I didn't even put it in a room because really this is just going to become the status for whether or not everyone has left my smart home now the next part of this is inside of automations and we're going to create a new automation we're going to hit the plus and then I'm going to choose the member location now I'm going to choose all of the phones that I would like to use to signify that everyone has actually left our home so once I've done that and I hit save what I'm saying is no one is at home now the then component of this you could customize this more but when I hit the plus there now I'm going to control devices and I'm going to choose that virtual switch I created it's called everyone has left so this makes a lot of sense at this point the automation name I'm just saving it now and we're calling it no one is at home now you have to create the reverse which is of course the member location we're going to pick here and who we're picking the two phones that you saw me pick before and then I'm choosing that anyone is at home so when the first person comes home then I want to do something now my then statement is to control that same virtual switch but this time I'm going to tap back into that virtual switch and turn it off and I'm also going to delay by a minute this is just my personal preference you don't have to delay by any time but I'm showing you that you could delay based on these two automations or these two statuses occurring so now I have two automations set up one where no one is home and one where anyone is at home the other thing we need to do is inside of the smart home monitor section inside of our smart apps we have to go in hit the gear icon and then here we're going to go into our security system and then the security mode reminders 
And then you'll find a list of the phones that you are using to manage your smart home security system with Samsung Smart Things. So you're going to hit the manage members button if you don't have the right phones met listed there. And then you're going to put a check mark next to the phones that you want. And they should align with that previous step that we just took. And this will create alignment between Smart Things and Wise. We now have to expose that virtual switch to if this then that so we're going to go into the menu connected services and then if this then that and when we get into there we'll go into which switches so what we are going to choose is that virtual switch called everyone has left and make sure that that has a check mark next to it and this will ensure that if this then that can see that virtual switch Inside of if this and that, I'm going to hit the get more button and then I'm going to hit the plus which is the new applet creator. Then I'm going to hit this and search for smart things. Once I've chosen smart things, I'll be choosing this switched on status and finding my virtual switch called everyone has left from the list of switches. Now I go to the that section and this is how we align it with our wise cameras. So, what I've done is I've said once everyone has left is turned on, now I'm going to turn on a device. So I'm actually going to turn on all of my cameras in my smart home. Now, obviously you need the reverse as another applet. I've just got to hit finish here and that applet will send me a notification that all of my cameras have turned on once everyone has left my smart home. Now, Here's the other applet. I'm going to choose smart things again, but in this case, we're going to choose that that virtual switch we created called everyone has left is switched off. Then we're going to choose wise again, and we're going to do the reverse. So we are going to turn off our cameras. And again, I'm selecting all of them. You could select just one if you'd like to do that. So this will bring you to the point where your wise cams are turning on and off based off of the status of everyone leaving your home or someone returning to your home and this aligns with your smart home monitor as well. Now be sure to check out our other tutorials and hit that subscribe button that is on screen right now. Otherwise, thanks for watching and of course, don't hate, automate.